Hey there, my media friends. This is Reed, AKA Carnivore Chef. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you three different ground beef recipes. They're all very easy recipes, but they didn't really warrant a full video on their own. So I decided to put them all together and they're all packed full of flavor, which is why I like them so much. And honestly, you probably have everything on hand you need for most of these recipes. Before we get started, I'm gonna get you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video to other people. It helps improve the algorithm. So my face gets in front of more viewers. So why don't we just get started? For these bacon wrapped beef dogs, you're gonna need one pound of ground beef, 12 ounces of sliced bacon, some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. Grab yourself a mixing bowl and slap in the ground beef. Add in one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Take your grubby yet clean mitts and mix this by hand. Just take a couple of minutes to do this to make sure everything is fully incorporated. Pull out a sheet pan that is preferably lined with foil. To start making your beef dogs, pull out about 1.5 to 2 ounces of your seasoned beef and shape into balls. Side note, if you want to weigh these, that's perfectly acceptable. Once this has been made into a ball, pretend like you're making Play-Doh snakes to get the shape of a hot dog, or close to it. Wrap these in bacon any way you can. I found it's easiest when you lay the bacon on the tray and roll the hot dog against it. I was averaging two slices of bacon per beef dog. Repeat this until you have all of them wrapped. Yes, even the little bite-sized baby one. Place these into an oven that's set to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes or until the bacon is done. These turn out awesome. I should have made some of my not mayo ranch to dip these in, but I hadn't thought that far ahead. For these crispy beef nuggets, let's start off with one pound of ground beef in a bowl. Season that up with one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of celery salt, a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Take those filthy yet clean hands and give this a juicy mixing until all the seasonings have been incorporated. About two minutes, I'd say. Just like with the chicken nuggets, take about one ounce portions of your meat and shape it into non-trademark shapes. I went with oblong. Repeat until all your meat is shaped. Set this aside. Get yourself two cups of half and half into a bowl and pour out about three ounces of crushed pork rinds onto a plate. Take your little beefy boy, dip him into the dairy bath, and then crush him into the pork rinds. It's really that simple. Repeat until you've got one left and no more pork rinds. Poor little guy. This is now a sneaky little snack for later me. For these, I preheated an air fryer set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I set my timer for 14 minutes and popped four of these bad boys into the tank. I thought I was gonna be able to fit more, so I kept the rest on the pan and placed those into an oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for the same amount of time. Air fryer ones are done. They got cooked, but are not at all crispy. Hopefully the oven ones are faring better. Judging by the darker crust, I'd say these are actually a bit crisp. Definitely much crisper. These are fantastic on their own, but some queso would really make them pop. Here I have some leftovers to make these andouille and beef meatballs. 12 ounces of ground beef and six ounces of andouille sausage. Realistically, the andouille doesn't have to be cooked, but it does need to be chopped up as finely as possible. I did this by making strips of the sausage and then turning it to get a dice. I suggest running your knife over this a good bit to try to get it finer. Once this is nice and chopped up, take your ground beef and start breaking it up on top. Season this with about a half teaspoon of salt. Now, take those immaculately manicured and sanitized hands and start mixing this together. This isn't the easiest thing to do to make come together, so spend a good two to three minutes folding and mixing while pressing the beef into the sausage. Form these into two ounce meatballs and set aside. Place an oven safe pan over medium high heat and lay down the balls. Let these sear on one side for about four minutes. Flip them all over and admire the crustification. Once those are flipped, you can place the entire pan into an oven that's set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes or until you have an internal temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. After they're out of the oven, let them rest for about five minutes. They've just gone through a tough time. I was really looking for that sausage or crisp up more than anything to get that snappy bite every now and then, and they did. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like seeing these types of videos, please let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see more ground beef recipe videos like this, and you have something that just needs to be put out there, please comment it below. I'd be happy to take a look at it, maybe even include it in the next video like this. But yeah, see y'all next time.